Coach Steve Brownie here from Black Hawk Plastic Surgery, and in light of all the recent media events about breast implants, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. First thing is, if you're one of our patients at Black Hawk Plastic Surgery, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, the problem has been associated with a different kind of implant, which we're going to get into. So what is the problem that the FDA is looking at this week? It's called uh, Breast Implant Associated Anaplastic Large Cell Lymphoma. What does that mean? It means a type of cancer that can be within the fluid surrounding an implant, okay? The treatment for it when you catch it early is you just remove the implants and the scar tissue and it goes away. So that's the ideal thing is to treat it early. Um, why are we not going to have it uh, here at Black Hawk Plastic Surgery? Well, it's associated with the shell of the implant. Doesn't matter if it's a saline implant or a silicone implant, both of those are just fine. It's the actual perimeter or shell of the implant. Now at Black Hawk Plastic Surgery, we use smooth round implants in every case, every single time. Why? Because I've always thought they were much better and had less problems. Uh, smooth implants have zero cases of this problem um, worldwide. There was one case that was reported to the FDA, which they investigated and found out it wasn't that. So there's zero cases worldwide. The problem is in textured implants. Textured implants were, were made a long time ago. I've never been a big fan. I think they feel more firm. They're not as natural as smooth ones. They don't move, they're stuck on. Uh, but they're particularly, the texturing is important if you have a shaped implant in order to hold it in place and not let it rotate around. So um, there's some surgeons that like using textured implants. I've not been a fan, but almost all cases are associated with textured implants. There's one type of texture called a micro texture. Those have a pretty low risk for developing this problem. This type of implant is what's called a macro texture. Um, associated with allergan and polyurethane implants, um, used outside the United States that has a little higher chance of having this problem, probably one in 3,000. Um, so, um, how would you know you have this problem? Well, um, if you have kind of a, a rapid onset over a few days or um, a few weeks, enlargement of one breast, um, what we would call a seroma, um, most of the time that happens, it's an infection, and it's not a big deal. And if you had a smooth implant, we would treat it as an infection. But if you have um, a textured implant and that happens, it needs to be investigated, and there's certain tests that you can do to see if, um, if it's present or not. Um, um, again, when you find it early, it's very treatable. Um, what else have we got here? Um, what should you do if you're considering getting a breast augmentation today, right? It's still perfectly safe. It's fine to do. Um, it's a good procedure. But in my opinion, I would recommend having smooth implants. The FDA and our national societies haven't really taken a position yet as to whether you should have smoother or textured if either was okay. But in my opinion, I would only get a smooth implant. What if you already have this implant? Um, a textured implant. Um, uh, again, the FDA or national societies really haven't taken um, a position that they should be removed. In my opinion, um, with a 1 in 3,000 chance of developing this problem in this type of implant, um, if I personally or my family had this type of implant, I would recommend replacing it. Um, it's not an emergency to replace it, but as soon as it's practical to replace it, um, I would recommend replacing textured implants. Um, but for all of our patients out there, you're fine. You have nothing to worry about. You have a smooth implant, and that's not associated with this problem. Um, if anybody has any questions, please call our office and um, come on in. You know, we can we can talk about it. Um, I'm going to post this. Um, on our website or on our social media. So if you're interested in a little more detailed answers, um, you can check it out there. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.